Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Pro, and today we're going to do more awesome levels made by you using God powers, protecting Larry. You know, the whole nine yards. It's actually been a while since we've done one of these. So the first one we're going to do is this one. Crow, Larry stumbled into the dark realm by Gare Force. Let's take a look at the battle and there's a lot of units. I love these. All right, pause the game. Here's Larry. Guys, there's little old Larry. Check it out. Just doing his thing. Being an awesome, awesome man the way he is. And this is what Larry gets to see. All the units all along the side. Fire archers on this side. Skeleton warriors. I like that the skeleton warriors are facing different ways. So what this person did is he actually would change the location of the line to make the skeletons face different ways, right? If you go back, the lines are actually small detail, really cool small detail, pay attention, right? So the line's right here, but during the, the creation of the level, he took the line, rotated it, making the skeleton archers face this way, making the skeletons face this way, or face this way, or face this way, or this way. See, that's kind of a cool, very small detail that not a lot of people would pick up on. So let's try to destroy everything we have here. I'm thinking, we start with a bit of a boom. Cannonball bombs, cannonball bombs. Bum, 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 bum. We're not going to do every single level with cannonball bombs. I just want to start things off with a bang before we really get started in the thick of this, this, you know, this, this video. Oh, we've got mind swords over here. We have his royal reapness. I'm just gonna give him a bomb coat. Just a, look at that, look at that. Nice and warm. He's not gonna be cold. Oh, oh, and that's done. If we do this properly, we will kill every single unit in one shot. If we fail, someone will live and we'll sit there wondering what we did wrong. Ooh, vampires. Don't let the vampires live. Catapults over here in the back and some of those candle dudes. Hit these guys up. Okay. Okay, I think we were perfectly thorough and we've captured every unit with bombs and there should be one giant explosion that I will show you from the perspective of Larry. So here's Lair. All right, there's Lair, and we're just gonna give a nice little boom in three, two, one, maximum slow mo. The bombs spin, the game pauses, the explosions occur, and everything dies perfectly in one shot. Check that out. It's beautiful, it's just gorgeous. That is how you start things off with a bang. This one's called Larry versus Rome by Yannick Wolfie. Now the first question I have is why is Larry trying to destroy Rome? That was the description we were given. Larry's trying to take on the entire Roman army. Take a look at this. Look at that ring of enemies outside of here. Look at that, there's Larry, just chilling. He entered Rome, met by massive destructive armies. Shields in the front, Cerritas in the back. Also shields on the outside. Very cool. So how this person dropped these units, he put a circular line right here and had the line end right here, hence these units facing out. That's very cool, very cool. Ballistas, all sorts of hoplites, snake archers up here. They're gonna have to take care of those. They're, they're a problem. More ballistas, more snake archers checking over here, making sure everything is clear. Back over here, you see minotaurs and Zeus and an Artemis just chilling here in the doorway. How do we tackle this issue? I think to start, I'm gonna make ballistas that are three times bigger than normal. And I'm just gonna paint a pretty picture just like that with giant ballistas. Look at, look at that. <laughs> I love this game. So I've taken really big old ballistas. Hold on, I'm gonna get on top of Larry's head. Larry, Larry, I'm on top of your head, okay? It's just me, it's God, don't worry about it. Everything's fine, okay? And I'm gonna take the giant ballistas and I'm gonna do another row. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why this is so fun for me. All right, one more time, one more time, one more time, okay? So you're about here, right? Come on, guys, it's tabs. We're, we're supposed to have fun. It's a fun game with fun things for fun, right? Because fun. <laughs> Look at it. 
All right, now we've got really big Zeus Lightning Bolt, and we're just gonna smack, actually, these are not nearly damaging enough. I mean, if a Zeus Lightning Bolt hits you, it should, in theory, slaughter you. So we're just gonna jack up the damage, get up to that like 2,000 range, and have some fun with Zeus's Lightning Bolts. Zeus's Lightning Bolt's gonna go into those little armies there. Um, yeah, these guys here, none of that, none of that. Zeus's Lightning Bolts are gonna say what's up. Those are big Lightning Bolts. And there's actually none over here. Now, we've got these guys down this way. We're going to choose a new power for them. Ooh, I like the sounds of fire arrows. So now we're going to blanket. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, they're three times as big, too. These are some big fire arrows, and we're just going to fire them down the way. I'm just going to do a little side-to-side -side action, right? Aim things up. Make them really interesting. Those are some big fire arrows. And you know what? Same thing over here. We're just going to paint a pretty little picture up here and then go do, 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 and just paint pretty little fire arrows. Kind of like Bob Ross. I'm the Bob Ross of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Just going to make a pretty little tree, right? Oh, and don't forget these guys up here. How about some Euler axes, some three times as big Euler axes for these units up here? There you go, boys. There you go, boys. There you go, boys. I have no problem. I actually have no clue where I'm aiming right now. I hope I'm <laughs> the size of these. <laughs> They're massive. Oh, there's some units hiding here in the back. Oh, boys, 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 boys. You can't be without the fun. Join the fun. Enjoy. Oh, my God. That's terrifying. Same with these guys. Look at this. These guys are going to enjoy some big old potions in the back. Just big exploding green Larry potions. Not to mention this guy right here. You're, you're, you're not escaping. That, that row of potions, that's all yours. Now, the Minotaurs, Zeus, you know, I don't want you guys getting too involved with what's going on in the front. I want you guys to just chill out, hang out, relax, enjoy my massive thick ballista bolts, and just have a merry old time. And Artemis, baby, honey, sweetie, you're going for a little ride, okay? You ever heard of Team Rocket? You're blasting off again. Now, I wish I could witness this fight from multiple camera angles, but I'm not going to be able to. But the angle I'm most curious about is what's going to happen with this weird triple-decker fan thing going on. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to raise up, and I'm going to try and capture as much as I can from this angle right here. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Shh, shh. Pause, 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 pause. There's a single shield unit right here. What are you doing? Don't, don't worry about it. That's just a spear. <clears throat> Let's try this again. In three, two, one. Maximum slow mo. Activate. Check out. Okay, pause. Look at that. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, it's terrifying. Maximum slow mo again. The Belissa bolts are going out and hitting everything in multiple ways. The fire arrows, the lightning is spreading on the archers. The Euler axes are making a blizzard on the top. The ballista bolts are launching the minotaurs off in the distance back here. The potions are poisoning all these units. These Euler axes are freezing everything along this wall. There is a lot of death and somehow this one archer has survived. This archer looking at the lightning going, um, what just happened? So let's check in on Larry, see how he's doing. Larry, buddy, you're looking really good today. Things looking phenomenal. He's just standing there going, what just happened to me? All right, let's go to regular slow-mo in three, two, one, go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a snake. Look, 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 look. Larry's throwing to a unit over there. Somehow he lived. But there's a single snake. Now, you guys mentioned to me that perhaps things with collision detection might be able to stop a snake or a projectile. So let's try and shoot uh, the snake with projectiles. Oh, oh, except I might have just hit Larry. Oh, I did hit the snake. Hold on, I'm gonna hit the snake with that. Boom, boom. Can I smack the snake up? The snake stopped in his tracks. Okay, that's good. Now, let's deal with this archer. We don't want this archer um, murdering little Larry. So, um, sorry, messed up eye, archer. You need to you need to go now. And what's going on over here? Little shield unit. Let's give him a smack. Boom. Hey, that was it. There was only two units left. We managed to kill almost every unit except for one shield guy on the left-hand side and the one archer that almost snaked Larry. That was nearly foolproof. That was very cool. And, um... Sorry, Zeus, but uh, 
Don't mess with Larry. This one's called King Larry and Queen Glary's Training Guild. It says, King Larry and his new wife Glary have made a training ground for their army. Crow doesn't want Larry and Glary to make an army because he is scared that Larry and Glary might overpower him. So Crow decides to fight Larry and Glary's army fairly. Submitted by Color Wet. So the description of this video said to do the fight fairly. Interesting, there's the army. But where's King Larry and Queen Galeri? I, I, that's, that's quite the girl, Dave. Let's take a look. Here's the blue army. Okay, pretty good. A lot of Cerises, a lot of shields, and a lot of hoplites. I'm going back here, and there's Larry. Good old boy. Sup, buddy? How, does, how you doing? I like how you're hiding up here in a bush. Typical Larry. Is this Larry? <laughs> okay, sure. Long hair. I can see how it could be a girl, but um, again, the, the name Glary, but here we go. We have massive armies and it's said to fight it fairly, so we're gonna try and fight it fairly, guys. Let's get some meat sponges, some mammoths, handful of ice giants, and then reapers in the back. There we go, let's start the fight. We got meat shields in the front, a handful of archers here on the side. I'm hoping that they might be able to cause a bit of damage. No, the enemy archers are seeing them. Ah, I should've put a meat shield in front of the archers. Meat shields moving in, reapers coming in the rear, which is exact. Where, where are these reapers going? Yo, there's archers over here. What? Yo, I didn't notice these archers. Meat shields are doing their thing. They're doing a pretty good job. I'm waiting for the reapers to really engage and get involved in the fight. And again, what are these archers doing over here? Reapers are getting in. They're doing their job. Meat shields are meat shielding for the reapers. Oh, there's even more ranged units over here. This is a difficult fight. And I'm not allowed to use god powers. Okay, it seems like we've dealt with the first row of guys and the reapers are still alive. The meat shields are meat shielding quite nicely, absorbing all the arrows from the range attacks as they get in and start smooshing. How's our reapers doing over here? Well, it seems like they're doing a pretty good job over here, except he's stuck in the doorway. The Reaper's stuck in the doorway. He can't. Oh, he's getting through. He's getting through. Come on. Yeah, get in there, Reaper. Get in there. Mess them up. Oh, no. These Reapers are separated. If they can just get in and mess up these archers, we might stand a chance. Yes. 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 We're doing it. Oh, and um, Larry's already dead. So Larry's somewhere in this pile of corpses. Sorry, Larry. And Glary's up there. Oh, no. Larry and Glary are stuck up here. Perfect. We can watch them die, which is something I never thought I'd say. Meat shield, being a meat shield, doing a fantastic job, smushing the archers. Well done. The two reapers turn their attention to Larry and Glary. Oh, Larry has dropped down. He's ready to engage this reaper. We're going to watch the death of Larry one more time because he betrayed us, tried to marry Glary. Larry, Mary, Glary, it's hard to say. Here comes death. He's got some tentacles left and well, boom! Larry just got wrecked. Now for Glary. She who hath taken mine Larry from me. Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? Um, I'm not Romeo. I'm the freaking Reaper. And I'm about to skewer your life. Oh, no. This unit's too big to be skewered. How do I, how do I get to, the, I don't have any ranged units. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to possess the ice giant. And I'm going to punch the daylights out of Glary. <laughs> Come here, you bloody scythe wielding. Thing. I'm going to punch you. Just going to mosey on up. Actually, I might not need to. I bet you this unit could do it himself now. Can you can, can you reach Glary? No? Okay. I'll try and possess you. And I will punch. Punch. Try it. Punch. Is it working? Oh, I'm punching my own units. Oh. Oh. Wait. 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 There's Glary. Glary's on the ground. Hey, we did it. Let's go. That was a very difficult fight and very cool.